welcome back to the studio. And we're joined in the studio today with none other than a Nuri, a Nuri <laughs> thespian, actor, athlete. All and that's only, that's only the start. That's <laughs> only the start. So here's getting warm in here, isn't it? It is. It's very warm. That's enough for me. There you go. Look at that there. <laughs> Razor, we're back in the studio. We're joined with Neil Healy. How's it going, Tony? Totally? It's going pretty good. Neil, thanks for coming in the studio. No problem at all. Now, his dad, Edmund, was supposed to, now mate, I mean, he was supposed to come in, but he couldn't make it. No, he was pretending to work hard in this, you know. He's pretending to work hard. Well, that, he's very good at that. Oh, yeah, now you know where your acting skills come from. Exactly. <laughs> Handed the whole way down from your dad. Brilliant. <laughs> So, first of all, I'm going to get my shout-outs done, is that alright? 100%. We'll get our shout-outs done, right? Big 60th birthday to Jimmy Fern from Courtney Hill. And with a great day Saturday and Sunday with Jimmy. Um, with a clear shoot Saturday. And uh, there's a load of boys thought that when, guess who won the razor? So, apart from that there, I really do wish you a happy birthday, Jimmy. And we're looking forward to the next shoot and, and all that there. But, listen, we're all great friends and with great crack. Um, the food was fabulous, the, the drinks were fabulous too, down in the Grandview Hotel. So a big shout out to Helen Shane, uh, Tara Connell and all the staff down there. The chef is amazing too, Peter Razor for the grub was fabulous. Um, so let's get down to business Mr Neil. Down to business. How's <laughs> things with you? It's not too bad at all, keep you're yourself going busy you know. You're busy, yeah you're up in... Uh, you're busy man, I'm up in Belfast at the minute, um, kind of rehearsing a play, it's going on tour in, in uh, Manchester, and Chester on the 11th of October. Um, we're going out there for the week. It's called Built in Belfast. Oh, I know who that is. Yeah. Marion Kenny. Good to see you, Mars. Razor Mars and Lee and John. So a big shout out to everybody yeah. in the Star Theatre Company in Belfast. No, indeed. none other. Yeah. So that's who you're with. I am indeed now at the minute. Um, you know, um, down enjoying enjoying the crack and stuff. You know, so it's set in, eight, in around 1908 and set about the factory workers and the mill workers and stuff in Belfast. You know, so it's just it's in around the time Titanic and stuff is starting to be built. So should be fun. It was a highly industrious time, and I'd say it will be fun with, with Mars behind uh, directing the operation, you know? Oh, big time, well, that's where we get in the costumes, you know, the ad we're running around like Egypt, you know? So but there's a good bit of crack, isn't it? It is, surely. It's a good bit of crack, and, and they have a great studio and all down there, oh, haven't they? Do, they do, The indeed, Star yeah. Theatre Company. The Star Theatre Company, it's, uh, it's a fantastic studio down there, they have a couple of different rooms and stuff, for, and there's, it's not only acting, they do, it's dancing and stuff as well. It, and the um, costumes and everything they have. Yeah. You know, the props, yeah. the props and costumes. Fair play to you, Morris. Great setup, I have to say. So you're you're up there. I was up there a, a while back myself, you know, mm -hmm. uh, doing bits and pieces. But then I had to move on. I've got other commitments and all that, you know, um, and have a few features coming up in London. Happy days. Hence this thing here. <laughs> and I, I'm, I've been told now to grow it down to here. So. <laughs> What do you do? Exactly. This is the game we play. It so is. You're making you know, a living out of it. So. You make it, you know, you're earning an old couple of quid. You're like. Yeah. <laughs> and not only that, it's, uh, it's something I enjoy doing. Like yourself. Like yourself. You love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. That's it. I've studied it and I got accepted into Northumbria. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the funding to go. But uh, things are working out differently with the thing in Star Theatre Company. And then I was shooting a short film there not so long ago as well. Ghost of Sugar Island with Brian Dick. Oh, and uh, the likes of Donal O'Hanlon and uh, there's a couple of the nearly locals that you would recognise in the in the film. It's out on the twenty. There's a preview of it on the twenty fourth of October. Oh, keep me well. posted about it. I will indeed. Yeah, keep me posted. Send me links or whatever. Will I you? will indeed. Yeah, and see if I get a few clips and put them put them up on on Facebook and stuff oh, like that. Do you indeed? Because us guys have to help each other out in this game. Oh, but they do. You know thing. it. Yeah. And as I say, once you get to know the people in Dublin, Belfast, and all, there there, there are you know. The, you think you're not going to be accepted into these players, but when you know them and get down and know them and meet them, they're all fabulous, aren't oh, they? They are indeed. They're, and fantastic they're all like-minded. Yeah. You know. And uh, so, how's the how's the scripts going and learning them? And oh, it's great. I'm near. I think I'm near there now with the lanes myself. You know. Um, have you plenty of lanes? Oh, uh? plenty of lanes. Yeah. I'm quite a quirky wee character in that uh, Star Theatre Company show, built in Belfast. Uh, you know, talking about uh, smelly things and the factory smell and stuff. You know. And, about some man chatting up my mum and all in the show, you know, so it's, it's good or laugh. Yeah, <laughs> it's some, well, it's something completely different then, oh, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. From what I've done around Yuri, like I've mostly done musicals and stuff around Yuri, you know, with the likes of the Bosco Drama Group and stuff, who are actually doing a fantastic show this year, Hurstbury. Uh, oh, now, wow. Now, now in November time, so, uh, but with Star Theatre Company, unfortunately I couldn't do the Hurstbury this year, but it is going to be one fantastic show this year, you know. Brilliant. 
and all local talent all again. All local yeah. talent as well. And I was up there a couple of weeks ago, and there's brand new, brand new faces in the bus this year, just blowing blowing Jim and that away. You know, so it's going to be a really really good show this year. Yeah, that's Jim McGuigan too, isn't it? It is indeed. Him and Karina Cunningham. Karina, Co- oh directors. Karina, yeah, yeah. Directors, so. Karina's great, great voice too. That yeah. girl, you know. So it's Jim, Jim and Karina, get in here to the banter show. <laughs> I want to have the banter with you, so why not? That's exactly. what it's all about. Um, and I say, I met, I met Neil's father down the town the other day, and I said to him, Eddie, you're going to come in? He says, I will, can I bring Neil in? So, Eddie, you pump Neil off on yeah. him. So that's what you've done in effect, hasn't he? Yeah. But uh, unknown to your dad, I was texting you, so yeah. uh, just to keep everything above board for us, you know. So it's a busy time. Um, the, the Star Theatre show is going to be in Manchester and it Chester. It's shown, it's shown first of all at the end of August now down in Belfast. Um, if anyone can get up to see it. Hopefully, you know, yeah. The, uh, you've been more than welcome down. Hope you enjoy the show and stuff, you know. Um, it'll be great now to see a few new faces coming down and supporting it. You know? And support you. Yeah. You know, and to plenty of, and shout raiser people. You have the shout yeah, raiser. Exactly. <laughs> Anybody from Newry that's on the stage anywhere and you're in the audience, give them a big raiser, isn't yeah, that it? It is indeed. Because it's, it's a Newry word. It is razor. It's razor. It's a good Newry word. Everybody well. loves it, you know, yeah. they all love it. <laughs> they, everybody can relate to it, so. Yes. You know, and so you have, you went you you were in England before anyway, weren't you? You were doing were you doing studying at one time? No, no I went over for my additions uh, in for the course that I wanted to do, and uh, unfortunately I never got accepted the first time. Right. So, but when I went over to Newcastle, I kind of like fell in love with the place. So I went back and auditioned again, and got in the second time, and. W- after I got accepted then, I went to and try and get funding, and unfortunately because I've done a HND, I can't get my funding now, you know, so I don't think Newcastle's going to happen now. Right. But uh, it just... But you're still, you're young, you're at, exactly. at your early stage yeah. of your life. And it's all still there, you know. And it's all up there anyway. Yeah. And I know the Heaney's are very competitive people, <laughs> like most Newry people here. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, and, and this is what it's all about. You have plenty of time. Time's mm-hmm. on your side, and yes. you will nail it anyway. You know, hopefully, hopefully. Because um, you've nailed a few players around, well you've nailed a few players here in Newry. Here in Newry now, uh, a couple of years ago I got uh, involved with Newpoint and uh, they went on the circuit with them in the Northern Irish Drama Festival and picked up two, two awards for myself, you know. There you go friends, so, <laughs> not, yeah. the, not, not too shabby there. Yeah. What? <laughs> so no, I'm enjoying my time doing what I love, you know, can't, can't ask for anything better. You, know? you can't, you really <laughs> can't. Um, by the way, my son Mark was asking about you. Yes. So we're talk, talking. Him. Big shout out to my son Mark How's over in Mark? England. <laughs> uh, we told Mark he was coming in, yeah. and uh, and my other son's just home from America this morning. Jason's just Jason. home, and he's he's way to bed. He's absolutely oh. ghost, you know. <laughs> so the boys are asking about you anyway, you know. Um, so you're you're keeping yourself busy then. Keep myself taking over, yeah, you know. So the I'm working away at part time as well, then you know, just to. Oh, yeah, the part time uh, stuff. Part time uh, sports director, so. Oh, would you quit? Would uh, you quit? You know, but it's busy, busy, busy story, you know. So. Oh, it is. Mm-hmm. It really is. Um, so, so what's it's it's now knuckled down into these uh, rehearsals now in Belfast, isn't it? It is. It's just it's getting to that time now. More we're near. We're about four to six weeks away, you know, from the the opening preview show. So. Uh, it's just about now knuckling down and getting just bringing everyone together now. About honing it, sharpening it, or tightening it all up, isn't it? it all up, and that'll be it. Yeah. So Are you yeah. nervous? Uh, no, I'm, I'm enjoying it that much at the minute. I'm not even thinking about yeah. nerves, you know. So it's it is it's good fun travelling or going up and down, you know and. And they're, and they're handy to get to the Star Theatre Company. Oh, they are, yeah. They're, they're right beside uh, the Botanic Inn and stuff, you know. Oh, so the universities and all yeah. that, yeah. So, uh, great, great view great view down there walking past, you know. So oh, it is. It's, it's a good vibe about the place, there isn't it? It is, yeah. And then you get to see plenty, plenty of students, you know, so it's, it's always good down that end, you know. <laughs> look at the smile. Look at the smile now, friends. Look, I'm trying not to smile, you yeah. know what I mean? Uh, of course, it's a, it's a good area and it's a good theatre company. It and is. The, they've a um, good selection of props and all that. Yep. And now, you know, because Marion was telling me the time, and that was maybe, maybe a year or two years ago, uh, I was going up and down auditioning too yes. with them. And then I got a couple of calls and was sort of, I sort of fell away from Marion. And then, because she, she is a busy lady. Oh, very busy. You know it too, how yeah, busy she, she is, you know? Yeah, she's in, nearly off in Liverpool, near enough every weekend, you know, working away. There you go. And stuff, you know, so you can't, you can't complain, like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working, working with very good people down there now, you know. Yeah. And, and uh, they seem to draw good players in with them, don't they? They do. Now, that's it. They'd introduced two new people to me there. Unfortunately, their names have 
skip me, you know. But it, it's, <laughs> it's hard to look. I, I was getting new names to me, you know, yeah. when, I was, when I was up. And the minute you go out through that door, you can't yeah. get them. The names are gone. I know. You need to be at a few rehearsals to remember the names. Yeah. You know yourself, know. don't you? But it is. It's, it's good fun, though. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Look, it is huh? I had a couple of read-throughs with, with our, our son, Lee. Yes. And Marion. Yes. And uh, some guy from Newcastle, I forget his name too. Same thing with a brimmed hat, you know? Oh, uh, that would have been... Oh, his name's gone as well. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's all these learning lanes. Yeah. It just erases names in your head, doesn't it? Fran. That's his name. Fran. Yeah. Raise our Fran. That's Fran the man. That's, yeah. Yeah. You know, an easy name like that to remember. Yeah. But you forget it, you know. Um, so are you still at the athletics and training? Uh, I, sh I should be doing a lot more than I was. You know, this year This year, I've been mad into the golf. Mad into the golf this year. So me and my dad are heading over now uh, to the British Open at the weekend over to Liverpool. So looking forward to it now, you know. Very good. And there's another golfer I met at the weekend, James Fern, another one of the mm. Fern family. He's <laughs> part, he's really into it now, you know. Uh, it's a good game to get into. Oh, a very good game. Well, I won, I won the first major of the year at Melbridge. So, you know, I can't, I can't complain, you know. <laughs> See, that's what I'm telling you. Competitiveness. Yeah. Uh, isn't it? It is. And then my dad there, he got his first win as well at the weekend. He oh, had, brilliant. He had a fantastic 47 points. You know, wow. So it was a, after his handicap was taken off, it was 11 under he was. Well, uh, there's no competing with him. Yeah. Eddie. No good competing man. with him. <laughs> Not at all. No, no. You, he's lucky he didn't give you a clout with an iron horn or something. Know. You know what I mean? <laughs> he would be. You'd be up for the doing a wee bit of that, yeah. Eddie man. You know. Uh, as I say, I was I was competitive for the weekend myself. You know. Yeah, we're but, all uh, we're all winners, and this this well, must be the well, winner's shirt. Is, this, is, it? <laughs> this is the 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 banter show with the winners and the razors. Yeah. You know, of <laughs> Uh so it's all good. So the trainings, the trainings on the back foot. Uh, the trainings kind of taking a back seat, but I'm hoping now to do the the early week festival run in two weeks time. You know, so. Well, the, if you don't do that, you're going to be in trouble, aren't exactly, you? Exactly. Like the ones up at the early week won't be happy with me. You know. <laughs> uh, big shout out to the early week on. Um, uh, on on a two weeks time, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh July. Is that because I thought um, it was on this weekend when they seen the barbecues outside the windmill bar? And big I shout out to Davy McCutcheon as well. Hope he brings it home for the windmill. Razor, <laughs> Davy, bring it home for the windmill, Davy. Yeah. Bring it home there, you know. Uh, who else is who else is in the run for the? Oh, it's Remy Mullen, isn't Remy it? Remy Mullins, the uh, up, up, up for running for Courtney's, you know. So the, it's going to be a close call this year, I reckon. Yeah, close call. Tell me this: was there bands playing at the weekend up there? Had they got a couple of bands playing? Uh, no, I know what happened. There was a barbecue on for Davy to raise money and stuff, you know, yeah. for the Southern Area's Hospice. And then there was uh, a bit of music, I think, up between the two pubs, just, you know, so... Oh, is that what it was? Because mm -hmm. I, thought, I thought that was it. And as a matter of fact, I'll have to get the Erie Wig back in here, you know, Roni McGrath and, uh, and, and Bob Kearney. Because mm -hmm. I had them in here. The crack was 90 the last time. Yeah. <laughs> Only there's one thing about it, that Erie Wig gives you an awful stir. Oh, he does, surely. Does, you surely. know, and uh, Kenny has that old smile, but you know there's not smiling. You, oh. know, you know there's an evil... There's something evil going on behind yeah. it, you know what I mean? Well, he, he was... He was Unfortunately for nearly people and stuff, he was a bit happy. Garth Brooks should cancel. So that's the same weekend, you know. So he, he said, but oh, it's terrible. He, <laughs> <laughs> All this terrible thing about Garth you know, Brooks. A lot, a lot of people are gutted, but sure, what can you do? What can you do? <laughs> you know, I, I actually blame Garth. He said if he didn't get the five gigs, you know, and he started throwing, throwing the, the dummy out of the pram. Toys out of the pram. You know, oh, if ones. I don't get my five gigs and not coming down. Well, why didn't you do your three gigs in Dublin and maybe do two gigs up here in Belfast? Well, do you know, you were just crying out, no, bitch. The, the Erie Wigs promised, he he's, 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 promised that he's going to get better than Gareth Brooks over the festival. So if you can make it up, you're promised to get better than Gareth Brooks. There you go. Yeah. There <laughs> you go. They'll probably get Johnny Starr up the Erie Wigs festival and all the, all the, the big company names, you yeah. know. No. Susan McCann and all. You know. A whole lot. So you don't need Gareth Brooks over here. Well, he's not been missed. And most of the people get his name wrong. Most yeah. of his fans get his name wrong. This is what, what really. If I was a fan of some band or, or an individual who's really cool, I don't get the name wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but the amount of people say Gareth Brooks. And it's Gareth. Well, it's now No Brooks. Yeah. Because he's, he's coming. not coming to Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there's all the company stars, Gareth. We don't need you. Yeah. All right. It is indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I do feel sorry for them. For the hard lane Garth Briggs fans. I do feel sorry for the do. disappointment of 400,000 people. Exactly. You know, you know? And, and there's people there on the radio I heard last week coming from America. And paid flights, Canada. Uh, Canada, yeah. paid flights, hotels, a whole lot. And it's all going to be lost now, you know. So it's disappointing for the likes of them, you know. Well, what I did hear was um, the, some of the dates that people did book their, their hotels and all this. Yes. And 
I, th I like this one. I was only told at the weekend. Some of the hotels that the people have pulled their bookings out of and lost their money. Yeah. They've lost their money. They've booked it. They paid for it. Some of them they, they don't get their money back. Yeah. So what the, what they've done, what they've done is there's a uh, some charity has gone on board. Yes. For the homeless. Mm -hmm. And all the rooms that have been booked for bed and breakfast. This charity's getting the homeless to go in and stay the night in a quality oh, hotel. Well, that's that's very good. Now. So something good come yeah, out of it, it you did, know. It did, it did And uh, Michael Aiken, Nagel Promotions. If you want to come down and come into the Banter Show, we can talk about Garth Brooks and and maybe you know the the new the upcoming gigs that you have of of you know come in and plug your new gigs. So I'll leave that with you, Aiken Promotions. I'd love you to come in. A wee bit of controversy. Let it go. Get it going here in the Banter Show. Big time. So mm -hmm. uh, so it's all going good. It is. Life, life's actually going quite good for me at the minute, you know, yeah. so I'm quite happy at the minute, you know. So and all the rest of your, your brothers are all there, all, all flat out too. Gar, Gar, just living just up the road from Destiny Senior here, you know, so he's... he's so good he's, old Gar, the same yeah. about the odd time, you give him yeah. an old razor and that, and you know. And then there's Wayne, Wayne's just finished his GCSE, so he's hoping to get, if he gets the grades, he's hoping to follow, maybe in my footsteps, you know, take the acting route as well. And then there's Paddy, he's doing a thing with New Point on Sunday. If anyone is into their history at all, the big world warship is coming into Worm Point on Sunday. From, I think it's the, and New Point are doing a bit of live street theatre. Oh. From ha uh, 11 o'clock to half two on Sunday. Oh, is this, is this the big saga boat or something? Yeah, the, the big, big cruise ship? Yeah, the big cruise ship's coming in on, on Sunday, so right. New Point are doing a bit of live theatre for them, you know. So oh, is it, are they doing it out on the street? Or? Out on the street, is the, <coughs> I think it's the people, I'm not totally sure now, but there's people are coming off the boats and stuff, you know. So yeah. The, no, they're the, the, the older brother, Paddy, he, he's involved in it, so, mm. along with Killian and Anna and stuff like that, you know. Brilliant. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, I couldn't do a dozen away to the British Open, so, looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, you're going to the British Open? I am indeed, yeah. Just, I hope Tiger makes the... Makes the cut. That's uh, the only man I've left to see. It was at the Irish Open a couple of years ago. Well, I've seen the likes of Rory and Graham McGall and stuff like that. But I hope, hope Tagger makes the cut so I can, I can see him. You know. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you are. Well, a big shout out to Golf Jug, GolfJug.com, based in Dublin, and and just broadcasting to the entire world about golf. So, good friend of mine, uh, Big Greg. So there, we've got a, a new Irish champion here, Greg. You don't know. <laughs> we'll get a we'll get a profile. You know what I mean. We'll get it sorted out for you. Yeah. Uh, so it's all you know. You're, uh, the Heenies are a sporting family. Always have been. Yeah, always have been. There's Paddy, Paddy, and Wayne mad into their football. So they're big, big with one more stars in Greenfield. You know both. So the new season's nearly ready to kick off. So they're looking. The two of them are looking forward to it. You know. And Cannon Burke. The running club. Oh no! That, How long was that going? That that's that's that was going many years ago now. That's the the club now that would, my dad runs himself, St Pat. So the you know it's it's still going on the Wednesday nights if anyone's interested in running. Where's that? Down Where's St Mary's Hall. Oh, down in the hall. Down in the hall every Wednesday night from six to seven. She couldn't be at that. You know, so no, no, it's training. You know, so it's, it's handy enough. And and is it training inside and outside? Or? Both. Uh, I'll be down myself. I usually take any any older ones that. Want to go out in the roads? I usually go out and where they take them in a group, you know, out in the roads. Yeah. And uh, go for go for about a four or five mile run. If anyone fancies that. <laughs> Anybody fancies it? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Just contact this man. You get him on the Facebook and the Twitter as well, don't yeah. you? Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, the whole lot. You're on it all. On it all. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be these days, don't you? Oh, you do. It's, you know, it's one of the best ways of keeping in contact with people. Well, that's it, and and you know, it's the same as me, but on, I, I don't. I only go on Facebook, and I'm going to tell you all the Facebookers here, but anybody who says, oh, you missed my birthday, or you, you didn't accept my friend request, half the time I don't go on Facebook for two or three days. When I do go on, I like everything. I like, yeah. like, <laughs> like, 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 and I do as many likes as, and then I go off, and it's just when I go off, then people start sending you messages. Yeah. You know, <laughs> so if I've missed your birthday, I'm sorry. So happy <laughs> birthday to everybody's that birthdays and all I missed. People that have forgot to, you know, um, Confirm your friend request and all this crack. <laughs> so, bear with me. I'm not. Ju I'm not a hundred and ten Facebooker. You know, I'm more into my Twitter now. Oh. So that's the way I'm rolling now. You know. I actually have posted this on Twitter. Done my time. I reckon I would be the worst celebrity for tweeting. I'm on Twitter, but I do very little tweets. <laughs> well, f for the game that we're in. Yeah. Less Facebook, more Twitter. I'm telling you that now. Yeah. <laughs> that's where all the film stuff is. Yeah. Big time, and I've got a bit of, I've got a few rolls out of it. Oh, happy days. So get you, get your head onto that Twitter, you yeah. know. <laughs> well, we're, you're going to be on it today. 
I well, know. You're yep. a banter pant, not there, exactly, you know. Exactly, yeah. Uh, so, it's, it's, it's a, what are you up today now you're after this? Are you? I'm actually, tonight, uh, me and my dad, we're going out for a game of golf. So, Would um, you quit? Yeah, you know, I'm off my two weeks holiday, so. Oh, you're off your two weeks now, yeah, are you? Yeah, so I'm plenty of free time to myself. And then back home and then the script out. Oh, will you? it will be surely. Yeah, it's the only thing for it. At least Just one or two times a day you have to do it. Oh, get stuck on, don't keep, you? Keep, keep on top of it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and all big shout out to Kieran Biggie Cunningham, my mate over in Manchester. Hope you're well, brother. And hopefully you get talking to you too soon. And uh, I had him on the band the show as well. Oh. Another new reactor, would you believe it? Yeah. <laughs> you know. And me and him were in the same class in all school, oh. <laughs> so we end up with a bit of, bit of banter over in Manchester. And I'm also trying to get my banter show down into London and oh. maybe Manchester. Happy days. So, in big discussions, and I couldn't I actually couldn't get a cameraman, believe it or not, in oh, London. <laughs> Would you believe that? And we've, we've a good cameraman over here. My main man, Sean's there, you know, yeah. studio <laughs> manager. But, and uh, I should have had Sean with me, you know. But mm. hey, what? What can you do? What yeah. can you do? You know, when the powers that speak over there and, and give me a bit of funding to get shown over, yeah, then, then I get shown over. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe even the, the funders up the stairs might be able to help me along there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> but um, we, we need to get the Panthers show kicked off in London. Oh, big time! Yeah, you know, the more, the more the more widespread it becomes, you know, the, the better for it. Well, that's it. And you know, I'm trying to get promote as many people as I can. Yes, you know, and it's only a bit of crack, a bit of banter. You know, and as I say, we're, we're given the made in Belfast, built in Belfast, built in Belfast. Built in. Yeah. I just got it right there at the end. Didn't yeah. I? So big, big shout out to the whole cast and crew of Built in Belfast, and I'm wishing you all well, uh, especially Marion and John and Lee. So, uh, and you're, you're about, many times do you go up to Belfast? Oh, it's just it's, it's enough. Just once a week, just every Thursday, we're up in Belfast rehearsing. You know, so the, but it, it's. Once it kicks off, it'll be great, you know. Yeah. It is, it is going to be a good show. So if you're not doing anything on the, the last week in August, I'd still have to get a final date convert. But if you're not doing anything on the final week of August, please come to Belfast and support the show and watch watch myself doing a bit of, bit of acting. Of course, you know, so. of course. Um, will you come in maybe before the end of August just to give us another plug? I will indeed, yeah. And I'll, and I'll hopefully by that stage, I will have the, I will have the exact date that it, that'll be on, you know. And, so and the, 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 the location, the, location the venue. stuff like that, yeah. Because I'm sure it's hard enough to get a, you know, well, one of the theatre venues, you know. They have the location. It's up, it's up, uh, once again, names. Useless for names, so but it's it not is. the lyric, is it? No, it's it's not. A, it's a above, it's above a cap, one of the cafes in Belfast. There's a wee stage and stuff oh. up there, you know. So it's it's getting into one of the festivals as well. Oh, that'll be good fun, you know. So it'll be a nice, nice wee compact area, you know. So and then you'll be going touring with the theatre company. Going touring then over to Chester in October time with it. So oh, that'll be a good buzz. That'll be a very good buzz, you know. And uh, not it. only that, it'll be it'll be pretty good experience for you. Big time. It all goes towards the CV as well, you know. So that's it, and. Uh, and you gain that bit more experience. Yeah, it's good for up there. Exactly. You know, and, and then the, the fact that going on tour will give me a feel for going on tour with shows and stuff. Well, like that's those. it. Once you get bitten by the tour bug, yeah, and yep. tell you now, we'll not see you back in Newry at all. Uh, hopefully, hopefully not. <laughs> Marion will be ringing me saying, well, yep. you don't know where Neil is." <laughs> Hello. <laughs> that's the way it goes. You no, know, no. Hopefully, and I wish you do. You know, because your heart and soul's into this. Oh, it is big. Time. You know, that's and uh, we've been talking about this even a couple of years ago, haven't we? Yep. We met one night in uh, down the end of out, out for a few show spells, and we were talking about it. You know, and about what I wanted to do. So. Hopefully it's just starting to all take off for me now, you know. Yeah, well it, it does, it, it, it takes a few years to get in, to get yeah. stuck right into it, and then to get even noticed, yeah. and to get recognised, so mm -hmm. uh, it's a hard battle, it's a hard game to get into, isn't hard, it? Hard game, but if you can get into it, and get the right break, you're, you're sorted, you yeah. know, so it's all about just getting, getting, getting your foot through the door. Yeah. But uh, as, as any actor knows, you can never give up. That's the, any actor out there, never give up on it. No, it's a hard game. Yeah. This is the game you got yourself into. Bear with it. It's a hard, hard game. Yeah, and if you're not if if you're if you're easily put down and easily offended by people's remarks, you're in the wrong game. Yeah. Don't do it. Well that's the thing when it got into Northumbria and I fell in love with it, it was one thing that drove me back to go for the edition again to get into the course was just the drive and the determination that you need to be an actor. You know, so I just had it had a person myself and get back and not let, you'll get a knock every now and then but it's it's a knock that you don't get that you remember that's it you know and, and you and you enjoy then more when you when you actually get the role and you have to, when you're acting it's a funny thing isn't it yeah i mean uh i had i had cut two years ago i or what would have been two years ago i had 10 people around me very close family and friends 
and they died around me within the two months. Mm -hmm. And I was shooting in Among Us in Dremore. Yeah. Sword fighting, if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she trying to get to learn my script, and then you have to go to a wake, and yeah. then a funeral, and then you're coming. I was going to three wakes on the same day. I was going to two funerals on the same day. And then I was coming home and trying to get my lines in my head, and yeah, it is. my it's head wasn't ready for taking all these lines in, and I was just... But at the end of the cut, long story short, I had to do it. Yeah. And I had to do that character. I had to turn into this character. Yeah. And do my fighting on set and do everything on set to the direction of the director. Yeah. <laughs> and there was times I was nearly ready to go, just frig this, I yeah. just, I've had enough. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've had enough. Oh, there's Because dead. I was thinking I was so down in the dumps with all these. And even when it was down on set, my phone would go ding when I turned it on. Somebody else died. I was going, I don't believe this. Yeah. So 10 people around me died. Within two months, yeah, and it nearly put my silly in the head. I'm not joking, you. Yeah. but oh, I think the acting kept me right. Oh, it does. The, it the acting kept me right because it. I had to focus and go to a different place all yeah. the time. It takes. It takes. You know? just, it's for a while. It takes your mind off stuff like that. You know. Yeah. And it helps. You, it does help you get back to yourself, and concentrate. And you, you focus. Know? You know. And it does. It gives you good focus as well. You know? Yeah. So it, it is. It, it's always a good thing to. To keep going and keep trying to trying to get at you know. Yeah, and it's it's I like the challenge of you get a script, you have to see what this person's all about. You have to try and get that person into your head. Yeah. The one thing I love you about know, acting as well is you're more or less guaranteed you'll never play the same character twice. You're always somebody different. Yeah. And it's fun, you know. And the amount of different roles that you actually do get to play. Like one minute you could be a comedy character, the next minute like yourself, you could be looking like. A, as the director said, it looking like a serial killer or something like that. That's <laughs> it, yeah. Or you could be shot in the head on the toilet yep. by Steve Collins, the <laughs> world champion boxer. He shot me in the head in the toilet. <laughs> Would you believe that? Yeah. You know? Me with earphones in, reading a newspaper, pop it away and open the door. <laughs> Steve Collins standing there with a, with a post office uniform. Yeah. Razor Steve. And a big shout to Tom Begley, Phil Howard, uh, Tom, Joseph E. Sultana. So, big, I can't wait to go back to London to get stuck under a bit of... Bit of scenes over there, you know. Yep, the fun now over in London. <laughs> well, that's it. The collaboration we'll have to keep together, and yep. you never know, because um, you're going places. You've done courses. You've, you know, you've been at their drama school. Yeah, done, done the studying <laughs> for it. So, uh, you know, it's just a matter now. Once, once this tour takes place, seeing what happens from the tour, and hopefully something better and more picks up with Star Theatre Company. Or maybe across the water or something like that, you know. So yeah, it'll be fun to see what happens now after this, you know. Very good. Well, that's you have to keep plugging away at it, you know, as oh. you know. Yeah, you as have. you know, and apply for as many acting jobs as you can. Exactly. It's the only way you're going to get them. It's the only <laughs> way. It's the only way, and uh, it's the auditions, it's callbacks, and all that when you're at auditions, and yeah. then you have to want you to call back again, and then call back again. And sometimes just when you think you're in, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you need a sort of a thick skin in yeah. this business, don't you? I've seen, I've seen times where you thought you've got the role, you didn't. I've seen times where you thought you were never getting the role, and you got it. <laughs> you know, it's, it is uh, the business. Yeah, right, you know? Well, it is, it is. But the more, the more roles you get, the better for yourself, yeah, you know. Exactly. And then uh, the meetings, it's production meetings and all in, in the likes of London, and just even going to meet guys. And the, the minute, you know, for, for the likes of Joseph E. Sultana there, and I met him, and Reaper Shadow is the upcoming film now, it'll be out this year. And he, the minute he see me, the role has just changed from, I was to be the enforcer, I'm now the punisher. <laughs> so really looking forward to this one, yeah. you know. Get the old evil head going again, you know, if you know yourself. Oh, it is, yeah. Um, so you, it'll be good when you do get to England, won't it? It'll, it'll be a different, it'll be a different thing altogether, you know. So just from being in Rhine Uri, it'll be a good experience and it'll be good to learn from going to Liverpool or Chester, you know, to to see what way the actual or even Manchester itself. Manchester, the whole. Because that's, that's where the BBC moved up to from London. Yeah. And now they've the media city in Manchester as well. So. Yeah. Well, that's it. they're hoping now to start Mar Marion. It's hoping now that the. Uh, couple of the local stations are going to give us a plug over there as well, you know, so yeah. that'll be good. So this could be the first of many interviews. You know, well, that's it. Come yeah. in, and, and <laughs> Marion, if you're about Newry, come in, come into the Banter Show. Let's plug the, let's plug the play. Let's get it going. Built in Belfast, I'll do what I can for you, you yeah. know. Uh, and as I say, the knock-on effect, when you're touring, say, when you're on stage, say, in Manchester or Chester, it's when you come off. Yeah. And then you'll meet 
you meet people and they'll want to talk to you. And Lord, Lord knows who will meet you. Know. And the knock on effect of that, you yeah. don't know what, you know, you could end up in, in Stratford and doing Shakespeare or something. God knows. Mm, God, you no know. Shakespeare, please. No. <laughs> well, there you are. He's not yeah. going to Shakespeare. That's it. He's definitely not. But it just shows you it's, it's, it's the interest and it's, it's just if there's directors there and producers there and they just say there's the face we're looking for. Exactly. And that's that's where it takes off. That's where it takes off. You, you mightn't be home, you never know. Yep, they might, might never be home. <laughs> Eddie will be coming into the banter show going, what did you do to me, son? I know. <laughs> One banter show, he'd never come home. Yep. You know, but I'm sure you have everything sorted and uh, another shout out to Matthew T. Matzler over in America. All our friends in the USA, my son's only hung from the USA, everybody in Russia, uh, Christina Doyle in Russia and all the Russians in USSR tune into the show here, you know. Yep. And indeed everybody in Australia, America, uh, Canada, wherever you are, big big razor from the band the show. Yep. And I'm going to have to get a list of where the screens are in Yuri that this beams into straight away. Yes. So I know one's in the bus station, Bellinis and so big shout out to everybody around. How's your own people in Yuri? There you go, <laughs> give them the razor. 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 See that, you're a notcher, see that, notcher lot of it. Yep. Um, <laughs> So it's it's golfing tonight. Golfing tonight. Uh, I'm trying to think what am I doing? Bit of script work. Bit of script work now. I'm gonna leave. Will leave the banter show here. You know the. And it'll be a busy few weeks now leading up to leading up to the show. You know. Because uh, now it's now that you have to knuckle down. Yeah. When you have a show coming up in a couple of weeks, now you're going to have to read that script maybe four times a day. Get up in the morning, bang, dinner time, bang, tea gonna, time, it's, night time. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of work, but. It'll hopefully pay off in the end of it, you know. Oh, so. it will, it will surely. It, and you'll probably see, you'll probably notice the rehearsals going a bit easier, do you? Every, yeah. uh, every oh, yeah, rehearsal. Well, the first, there was the first time there last Thursday I managed to get myself off script, you know. So it's just a matter of uh, keeping the script now just at, at the side as a safety blanket if I need it during rehearsals. But just the more and more I go over it, the, the more I'll just set the script away, you know. So. Yeah. And then whoever you're reacting with, yes. you know, you're the same, the same three key trigger words yep, not there and exactly. then they bounce off each other then you th know so. uh, that, once that happens you're flying yep. <laughs> you're flying all together I, li I like even a bit of a, a bit of Im improvisation as well you know yeah it is improv but uh, it's very good now you know so the show the show's actually going out to the likes of uh, going out to senior members kids it's for open to anyone who comes to want, once comes to it you know it's open to all ages so because it is a historical It is a historical. Play, so it? The, the, my bit though, if you like a bit of comedy, the bit I'm doing is a bit of comedy in it, you know. So yeah, but do you enjoy that, don't you? Oh, I do. I love it. You enjoy it. that. You, you know, you, some, I think sometimes you do like the serious roles. I sometimes, yeah, I do like the serious roles, but the, the comedy roles, is always, so they're always great fun, like, you know. Getting, mm. As long as you can get the audience laughing, and, you know, it's always good crack to yeah. play a good old comedy role. And there's a pretty good film and scene about Newry, isn't there? There is. It, it's all about, there's film and scene all around Ireland, Newry, the whole lot, you know. So that, that film I done with Brian Dick, The Ghost of Sugar Island, I was, uh, I was another, uh, like, hoodlum, wee hoodlum guy, you oh. know. So, and uh, it, 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 it's another comedy piece, so, well, my bit, well, there's a bit of comedy in it and a bit of serious acting in it, so. Uh, and even I got to get the mug Donal O'Hanlon in it. Cheers to that Donal. Razor Donal. <laughs> uh, Donal's a good man. Yeah. Uh, and when's it coming out then? The preview for it is on the 24th of October. You know, so it'll be, there will be a show on here in Newry somewhere. The right. venue I don't think has been decided yet. But uh, on the 24th of October, if you aren't doing nothing, and I'll give you the next time I'm in, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll give you the, hopefully the I like venue that. stuff. I like that, friend. Did you just cop that, friends? the yeah. next time I'm in? Yeah. He's taken over the banter show already, would you quit? I'll <laughs> 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 have to get to your own banter show. Uh, no, we're going to have an art, arts banter show. You yes. know, arts and, arts and, f arts and crafts. Mm. Yeah, and see what's you know. happening in the rain area and stuff. Indeed. Uh, so... Uh, See that bad boy over there? It's great. We're, we're looking out. There's people walking past. We're trying to concentrate on <laughs> the banter show. Yeah. <laughs> and the, the amount of people looking in and having a bit of waving and I know. all the usual trying, crack. Trying to put us off. <laughs> trying to put, they don't put us off, do no. they? Don't. No. no, they just laugh. We're just putting laugh. them off. Exactly. We're just giving just the, the jog on some, you yeah. know. <laughs> uh, um, so it, it, it'll be... It's great, it's great to see you coming on. And, you know, because you have been acting a long time. You've been doing a lot of stage work. Well, I first, first started with the Boston Drama Group when I was 10. Don't wow. worry, don't worry, I might look only 12 now, but <laughs> I'm at, I done Oliver Twist when I was 10, which was 12 years ago. 
Wow. I've been acting since I was 10 years of age, so it's, uh, no one is. It's you defy the age, I have to say. Yeah. You don't look, you don't no. look your age at all. No, which, which helps me with my acting roles too. On that know? note, you're supposed to say you don't look your age either, Tony. I look yeah. over here, go on, <laughs> give it to me now, go on. You don't look your age either, Tony. It's okay, Tony. <laughs> Some actor he is, yeah. I can tell you. Uh, that, that's our improv over for the yeah. day. That's not going to work. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you do. You, you're you're lucky in that sense that you do look young, younger well, than your age. Well, that, that role that I'm doing now down in Belfast is I'm playing a lot, a lot younger. You know. I'm what do you, what age do you play? Fourteen year old, fifteen. Sixteen to eighteen year old. You know, so and, and then uh, the Ghost of Shogger Islands, roughly in around the same age group as well. You know, so it does it does benefit me with roles. Yeah, you know the young looking age. So, the, but the, trying to trying to get this to grow, I'm trying to copy you. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. it's just not working at the minute. Like, you know, no. <laughs> well, you need to go and one pint of Guinness, not one black. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> if you drink the Guinness, if not, you know, with a big creamy head, ah, just just, just it over. <laughs> and you wake up in the morning, boom, yeah. <laughs> here sort it of. is. <laughs> and funny, our Mars got the big beard as well. You yeah. know. And uh, I met him. He he collected me in London, took me up to oh, up to his house for the night up in Nuneaton. Oh so yes, the middle of England, right in the middle, yeah. and then dropped him to the train the next day, and then he went back down again. So happy days. He's he's pretty. He's 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 having a good time there, tooting, tilling away in his, oh, in his golf. Motor, huh? uh, <laughs> not the old one. He bought oh, a new oh, he one. Got a new one there. Uh, <laughs> but he, the old one's still in the garage. Oh, it's still there, yeah. Oh, he's not letting that no, bad boy go at all. You know? <laughs> so uh, and I have kept my old Mark II golf as well. So happy days. <laughs> I was going to try and sell it, and he says, "No, hang on to it, you know." Yeah. Until until he comes home and. Projects are going to start again. Exactly. You know, because the two of us used to race each other up and down the road and all this. <laughs> but old banter, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's all happening then. It's it is all, all happening. happening. And uh, I'm also doing a bit of DJing. If any, anyone's good, 18th, 21st, 30th, 40th. Whole and lot. you have the whole kit, the decks, everything? Oh, whole, the, the whole kit, the speakers, the decks, the whole lot. No way. Yeah, so I was doing When did you start this? I'm at, I'm at the DJing now, about a year and a half. So uh, yeah, if any of us have a party out there that needs done. What's the DJ the name? Oh, it's just DJ Neil Heaney, that's it. It's not not special, folks, not special. He is special. Yeah, no no <laughs> more of that nothing special. Yeah. No, it's a special disco you're doing, yeah, right? Exactly. You know, get your Morgan going here, you yeah. know. <laughs> well if there's any special parties, give me a shout. Yeah, and you will you'll do private parties at people's houses or Oh the whole lot, yeah. The in a garage in or a garage, yeah. Up the fields. Up the fields, the whole works. <laughs> and this is the right time of year to be doing it. It is indeed, yep. Yeah. And have you a good selection of music that cover all tastes? Oh, the whole lot, the, the charts, the country, the your age group, Tony. <laughs> Boys in their thirties. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's twenty the, quid. The, <laughs> the whole uh, the Bruce Springsteen there, the whole lot. So you might even have a Garth Brooks disco, would you? Oh, if anyone wants it out there, yeah, I can, I can get it sorted, but uh, the. Just we'll, we'll keep that for now. <laughs> bring, your, bring your hankies and your stats and, your, and hats and your, and your stripey shirts. And we'll see what happens. Oh, <laughs> and, and your cheeseburgers. Bring yep. your cheeseburgers. There's plenty of cheeseburgers. That's it. You need them. Yep. You need, cause cause that's, that's as long as I get a cheeseburger out of it, well, that's, that's all right. You <laughs> don't you be getting too many of them. You yeah. want to keep that young look and face going there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you will turn into a 22 year old yeah. <laughs> very quickly. <laughs> so it's it's all good, Neil, and it's an absolute pleasure to have you in the studio. Thanks for it. having me in. And I was saying only I met that rascal of a father of yours. Yeah. You know? The, nah, he's, as, as we know, he's pretending to work today up, up there in the school, you know? So. But sure, he'll be in, he'll come in. You still have to come in, Eddie. You haven't oh, let we'll, you off of this. We'll, 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 we'll get him you know? in. We'll, we'll get him and in. Neil's got his banter band. Got the banter band off. I'd one for you, Eddie, but I'm holding it here. Yeah. You don't get your banter bands <laughs> easy in this show, <laughs> I can tell you. And these lads here, they're like hen's teeth. Yeah. You know, there's a load of them out in America and all, do you know that? Happy days. Oh yes, and now the Russians want them and I'm telling you, things are going hot they're, here. They're in, they're, they're bands in demand. And they're actually, there's film directors in London wearing them as well, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, Kevin Paul, the celebrity tattooist, he tattoos Ed Sheeran and all these boys. So he's got his banter band yeah. and they had these, uh, the campaign for Shanine. So, oh yes. And I took them over and I give them all. They're all up and all the photos are on Twitter. Yeah. So director Phil Howard, uh, Joseph V. E. Sultana, Kevin Paul. The, the list goes on. Everybody I met said, would you here put them on? Yeah. <laughs> so I've only got I've only got two of them, you yeah, know, three of them. Fantastic fantastic calls. So we're still shouting out for Shanine here yeah. on the on the Banther show, you know. And if anybody can help with the Shanine cause, get on to me or get on to the campaign for Shanine 
on Facebook. Not yeah. right? Oh, it is all for a fantastic cause. So. And I think it's the fight on. It is fight on campaign for Shanine on Twitter. So I hope everything's going well, Louise, and wishing you well here. And come into the Banta show any time you want. Mm -hmm. So that's what it's all about, isn't it? It is indeed. You know. So I'll tell you what, it's got that time of the day, hasn't it? It has indeed. You know, on our studio monitor, he's giving us that there. Uh -huh. <laughs> and when he does that there, you're getting yeah, that. <laughs> you know, that, we'll see that, the two of us knew yeah, that one. Just straight away. <laughs> cut. You know, <laughs> <the> cut. <laughs> We're used to hearing them words, aren't we? Uh, just before I go, Irish show reels. If you're looking at a show reel done, get on to Irish show reels on Facebook and Twitter. Kieran Davies, good friend. And I'm looking forward to getting to work with you on the Hound of Ulster, Kieran. Another big one on the way. So, to everybody else, I think it's time to give them the razor. It is. Razor, razor. friends, <laughs> from me and Neil, we're out of here. Destination Banter with Tony Smith. Razor.